What's up? Sold a textbook, $434. It's actually a textbook set. And there's a couple lessons here I want to impart, really short video, but I think you can glean some uh, important stuff from my little recent weekend victory. Okay, so $434, not too bad for a textbook. Definitely not the most I've sold a textbook for, but, but still a solid win. Okay, let's check out the sales page. So this is a, a three volume set, textbook, some kind of ophthalmology thing. Three volumes and the sales rank was terrible. And this is far and away the biggest lesson I want to impart on you is I I listed a textbook for sale that was ranked three million. And you see here, I listed this in, I think it was like early February. So it took about took about three months, but yeah, it was around three million. So three million is not bad, generally speaking, for an average book. When it comes to textbooks, I generally will shy away from a textbook ranked three million because they usually only go one direction, right? They're just they're not really flatlining, and they're definitely not going up. The sales rank just drifts upwards into infinity and so i'm um, again I, i'm not i don't feel strongly about this but generally i'm kind of like a little more nervous when it's a textbook that's poorly ranked okay so bought it anyway obviously because i saw the 430 dollars price and the price didn't drop too much but the next lesson here is that it's a three volume set and i actually found all three volumes it was at a goodwill store again everyone thinks oh goodwill everyone knows goodwill it's all tapped out no there was a 400 dollars three volume set just sitting right there probably passed over by bazillions of sellers. And the reason it was probably passed over, number one was the rank, but number two, which is the second lesson, is that all three volumes were actually not together. They were dispersed throughout the book section. So I saw the one volume, I noticed it was a set, and when you scan it, you know, it says three volume set. It was like literally in the title, you can see right here, three volume set. And so most sellers would just give up right there. But I thought, just what if, what if? So I started scanning just visually for the, I mean, it was huge, each volume was like, you know, 1200 pages or something so i was scanning for huge books that were dark colored sure enough i found the second one and once i found the second one um nothing was going to stop me from finding the third so i found all three volumes cost me three dollars and again sold for 434 dollars now i think the average seller would not have even one even noticed that it was a three volume set and number two would not even have pursued the other two volumes after they found the first one so there's probably a whole separate video to be made on book bundling this isn't exactly bundling bundling but it's bundling of three volumes so i guess the lessons here are look for all volumes in a set if you come across one book in a set and number two a sales rank of three million is not a death sentence a sales rank of three million could have mean a book sold in the last month and the way i look at books that are poorly ranked is basically this you i am making an investment in this case a three dollar investment it's basically buying a lottery ticket if this pays off or maybe a better way to look at it is a uh a raffle if it pays off i'm gonna invest my three dollars or my one dollar my two dollars if this pays off i will win you know in other words in the form of a sale thirty dollars for whatever the case may be right in this case four hundred dollars that's how much i'll win so am i willing to gamble three dollars on the potential of making four hundred dollars now when it comes to this set the rank was three million um, the price could have plummeted. Oh, lots of bad things could have happened. I would have put this at somewhere in, you know, a 50-50 chance that I was going to come away from this a winner. I don't. I don't even think I even looked at the price in history before I purchased the set. So if I had, I could have probably mitigated my risk a little bit. But I had no reason to expect it was even going to sell for four hundred thirty dollars. It could have dropped to fifty dollars, which still would have been a win. But the point is, price could have changed. Book could have just simply never sold. Um, but I'm, I'm making my three dollar bet. On the potential for in this case four hundred dollar bet i would have made the same bet if it was thirty dollars so what's important is not that you have complete certainty that a poor selling book is going to sell that's not what you're looking for you don't need certainty you just look at it as a, as a series of bets that you're hedging by investing in many many of these bets so you make a bunch of small bets um hopefully the majority of them will pay off even if the majority of them don't pay off you should still come out ahead but again what's more costly than taking a risk on a poorly ranked book is the is the consequences of not taking that risk because if you run a business where you don't take these risks guess what's going to happen you're missing out on tons of huge scores and the occasional big score offsets all the losses so that's how i look at poorly ranked books thank you guys for watching catch you in the next video